So hello everybody and welcome to the May 8th, 2020 Spotlight Service and Collections Community Call. Um, this is going to be a brief demo where um, I explain some recent discovery and discoverability improvements for Spotlight at Stanford exhibits that we implemented a little earlier in the year. There is uh, a blog uh, post here that we're looking at right now and I will make sure that I provide um, a link to this uh, when, when I post this demo to YouTube and it's also in the agenda so people will have it for future reference uh, to come back to. So the first thing that we've done is that we have um, integrated better, um, better discovery in our online library catalog, uh, which is called SearchWorks. It runs on Blacklight. And um, let's say that you are doing some research on the Transcontinental Railroad and you're in our library catalog and you come across this wonderful image um, about the Golden Spike Ceremony in 1869. Um, so you're looking, this, this content is in our collections. It also, also happens to be digitized. It's fairly well described. And as you scroll down here on this item record, you will see on the left this box that says, item is featured in, ex in exhibits. And you will see the thumbnail and a link title for every single exhibit that happens to feature this uh, particular digital asset. Um, when, when you're on an item record page such as this and you see these links to um, the exhibits, when you click on the link, um, it will take you directly to um, that item record within that exhibit. And Apologies for my slow home connection, um, but the image, there you go. Now you, can, now you can see the image. So in addition, you may also be uh, in, our, in, our, in our SearchWorks catalog and you may be looking for things and you find a collection level record. That's, that's what you're looking at here. This is the collection level record for the Stanford Historical Photograph Collection. And you can see the film strip here that gives you a preview of, of uh, some of the images that are contained in that collection. Again, as you scroll down on this page, you will see this box on the left um, and it's, it's characterized slightly differently. It says items from this collection are featured in. And then it gives you um, the, the thumbnail and a link to each of the exhibits. And you can see that in fact, in this case, there is at least one digital asset um, from this collection, and it's one or more, of course, but there's at least one um, in a total of 23 different exhibits that we have um, in Spotlight at Stanford. Now, in this case, when you click on the, um, on the link to the exhibit, and it's going to take a little time to load. There we go. Um, you are taken to the home page of the exhibit because like I said, there are one or more um, images from the Stanford Historical Photograph Collection that are featured in this exhibit. So that is one enhanced, um, one enhanced discoverability um, um, set of features that we've integrated with with our online library catalog. Now, um, the other thing that we've done is we slightly, we slightly changed the landing page. Um, by the way, we, we had a pretty significant work cycle towards the beginning of the year. Um, we instituted some pretty massive accessibility improvements because our accessibility was not up to par and um, it is not perfect, but boy, we get a much higher rating. <laughs> Than, than we did um, initially, and we're really happy to have been able to introduce those changes. So one of the things you will find now, though, is this search box here um, right in the top toolbar um, as, as part of the masthead that says, find items in all exhibits. So um, 
let's say I'm doing some research on Martin Luther King. Um, and here I see that there are 1,010 items um, distributed amongst the, um, I think it's now 103 exhibits that we have published in Spotlight at Stanford. So you can also um, filter down. You can um, sort by relevance here. You can look at gallery view, which I'm, I'm not going to try and load right now, but you can look at gallery view um, instead of list view, the default list view. But you can also look at exhibit category and um, uh, actually, I should have logged out before I did this. Please excuse me. You're going to see a few kind of spurious categories. But our main categories here, um, starting with maps and geography and going through Stanfordiana, those are um, the, main, the main subject area tabs that we display on the home page. And so you could, you could drill down. Let's say you just wanted to look at um, Martin Luther King only in maps and geography exhibits. Um, you can also facet by exhibit title um, if you would like and you can see that um, we have a lot of images of Martin Luther King and they, boy, do they appear in a lot of exhibits here. We also have this date range slider um, so you can limit by, you can limit by date range if you would like to do so. This item visibility again is, is uh, something that's just available for, for, um, for super admins. So if we go ahead, let's just look at the Bob Fitch photography exhibit. And I will try now. And um, so now, now we're looking at, now we're looking at gallery view. So this is something that um, lot, lots of our stakeholders have been asking for. Um, it, you know, sort of across the board, improve discovery and discoverability. They didn't really, uh, you know, they, they, they tossed us, uh, they tossed lots of ideas at us and um, the, the engineers uh, that support Spotlight at Stanford sort of put, put their heads together and said, what is it that we think we might be able to do? Um, and people are really thrilled. This is probably this was probably amongst our top two or three requests from, from our curatorial and uh, librarian stakeholders. And that is basically the end of, um, of my demo here. So I am going to go ahead and stop the share and stop recording as soon as I can do so. Let's see. Yep.